Uh, I've just started recording the meeting so that um, we can be able to share with those who, who did not manage to, to join us. Like we had spoken last time, um, we said we're going to have these meetings on a bi-weekly or a fortnightly basis. And then last week, due to me being quite occupied, we couldn't have the meeting. So this is the only time that um, I could have. And then just um, scribble down in your diaries on your phones. The next one, we will have it um, on Thursday the 10th of June. Um, okay. I remember I asked on the group what topics you guys would like to talk about. And if I'm not mistaken, Kudzai said risk management and somebody else said revenge trading. So those are the two things that I I have prepared for for today. Like I had said, I would like the session to be quite interactive. So I'd like to have one or two people or even more saying what they understand or their own understanding of um, risk management is and revenge trading is so that I can share what I know and we build the topic not based on what I understand, but on what we know and understand collectively. Can somebody say something? What is risk management or what is revenge trading? Let's let's talk. I'm a teacher by day, but I don't think I enjoy being a teacher by night. And this is not a topic that I teach. Okay, I'm seeing your your message because I I was saying that. When we we last spoke, I had asked that people need to recommend topics that they would like to talk about. And I think yourself, you said um, risk management and somebody else rever said revenge trading. So I was asking that, can we have this session to be as interactive as possible and then have people speaking, um, saying what it is that they understand of the two so that we can, wh whatever it is that we discuss today, not only be a view that of or based on what I know personally, but be something that we we understand. I see Didi's hand is up. You can unmute yourself and speak. Yeah, okay, thank you very much, Kavan. Um, I'm, I'm an accountant by profession, so I'm going to talk risk management from the point of view of an accountant. Uh, my understanding is. Every organization is raising some threads which are facing such an organization. So when we talk about risk management, we are going to look at how are we going to overcome such risk and what is it that we are going to do to mitigate the threat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Um, okay, I, 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 I didn't um, raise my hand. Um, when she was um, when she was sharing with us, I'm not sure if she's using earphones or headphones that are plugged in. So each and every movement she was making, I was getting a feedback, and I didn't really understood or pick anything from what she said. Okay, maybe we can ask her to just try and say, again, repeat what she was saying and then we'll give proper feedback on the on the sound. Did you get, were you Am hearing? Am I audible now, Kuzai? Yes, yes, now you're audible. 
Oh, okay. Thank you. I was saying from the point of view of my profession as an accountant, when you talk about risk management, it's simply the process whereby we are trying to look at the organization and then assess what are the threats face, facing this particular organization. So at the end of the day, once you have identified such threats, you'll find ways of mitigating that. Loud and clear. Yes. Loud and, clear. and I think we can deliberate uh, on, on that and have this um, as, 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 as interactive as possible. So I agree fully um and i and un as i understand risk management you need to identify the risk that is there in whatever it is that you're doing so in this case whenever you trade when you open an account with a broker there's a disclaimer at the bottom that says your funds are at risk there's no guarantee that you will make a lot of money not in those words exactly but it also says that you had risk of losing all the money that you've made that is the first step to identifying the risks that are there you analyze what are the causes of the risks if the broker says to you you might lose all the money that you deposited or even all the money that you made after depositing what are the causes of that you take action once you've realized um what are the causes you take action on it because now you've seen the reasons as to why such things happen and then you act on that so the action is like counteractive measures that is where i personally believe risk management is at its strongest when you do that you therefore then have to monitor after that the results of the actions that you have taken the last step would be to control then you control yourself now in this case i i personally believe that the biggest thing that we need to to control is our emotions because in all honesty when you look at that trading plan that um we've got it's very easy to look at the end amount that we all want to to make at the end of the day but how do you get there um in any business in whatever it is that you do let me not say in business but in life generally there is nothing that you will do which does not have an upside and a downside and oftentimes the downsides where you fall that is where you learn what not to do next time so that even if it happens that you fall next time, you don't fall at the exact same place where you fell. Um, are we still together? Just confirm if you're still hearing me. Loud and clear. Wonderful. So loud and clear. It is a matter of knowing what to do and when to do it, and also not knowing just what to do, but also knowing what not to do. Um, I had a brief talk with, with Kudzai yesterday, and I said to him, um, ever since we started this journey, I had three cases where I experienced losses. And yeah, it was only three times, but those three times were bad. And they took me back, like, seriously. Now, before, I think deep down inside me, I knew that that day for me was a losing day, even before I opened the charts, because the situation I was in, the first one, I was running a music workshop. I was not supposed to be trading. I took time and I went out. That's fine. Uh, the second time, can't remember exactly what happened. Oh, the second time I lost twice, not three times. The second time where I was supposed to lose, I wasn't able to trade. I can't remember the situation. My wife said to me, don't force, don't trade. I wanted to trade. And when I looked at the group, people were making losses that day instead of winning. 
but because I listened on that particular day, I did not lose. Uh, yesterday, I was driving on my way back from Limpopo. I decided it's trading time. Let me stop at a garage on my way back to Joburg. When I, I was there, I knew I'm not supposed to be trading. I ignored that thing because I thought my week is full of events, meaning I'm not going to be able to trade even a single day this week. If I'm at a garage and it's 25 past three, I can make the trading time with hardly ever sit with a trade for more than five minutes in any case. But deep down inside, I knew that that day, excuse me, was a losing day, even before I opened the charts. I opened the charts, I entered Zoom, I had the signal, I took the signal, it went south. I didn't have the patience to wait and I lost. Now, those things, when you, you, you get to look at them, the signs are always there. The signs are always there, regardless of how much or how little do you know about the markets, but you need to listen to that voice that is always deep down inside you because that voice, as sober as you may be, that voice is what makes you to realize things that you, you need to realize the inner instinct is something that we need to to always look at. It's not a matter of how long have you been trading or how much you know about fi the financial markets, but it's a matter of knowing that I believe I can speak freely about matters of religion in this platform, considering the fact that we always listen to, to gospel music before our, our trading sessions you know regardless of where you belong that there's a higher power that is operating around us that little voice that speaks within you every time and says today is not going to be a good day for you and today not being a good day for me as tabang does not mean it's not a good day for kuza it's not a good day for anybody else it might be a good day for somebody else but because i am in a situation on this particular day where i can see the signs that for me it's not a good day then it's not a good day stay away it is better not to make money than to lose money what I lost yesterday is something that I know on a good week, I make that in two to three days, it's fine. But losing that, regardless of how much you've made, it pains. And when it pains and you are, you look at the account because you, I think you've seen what I've seen. Some people are always panicking when their account goes into negatives. They don't think pullback, but previous experiences, emotions cloud and say, oh my goodness, it's this huge negative. Then the account is going to blow. At the end of the day, when such things happen, you get to push yourself to a level where you would not have pushed yourself if you had decided to sit by the sidelines in any case. There are no dates that are, are set on, on our trading journal. They, depending on the amount that you have, you know on what day for your own play, plan you are at. But also considering the fact that on the many days that we make wins, it's very rare that you make the profit that you are supposed to make according to the journal. In most cases, we make twice or even three times more than that, meaning that we will reach that end result at a quicker, at a quicker a pace than we initially were supposed to. And if then there's a particular day or even an entire week where situation forces you that stay by the sidelines, see other people make money, it's fine. Your turn is there as well. You will make money when you are able to mitigate the risks that are there, but do not push yourselves into situations where you will force to trade when you know that the situation currently does not allow you to. I will pause there just a little bit and then we can talk briefly if there's any. Thank you, Tabang. 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 Thank yeah, that 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 last part you just shared is it's it's so powerful. I think for those who joined the 
the session today in the afternoon personally i could i i even told them that um the holy spirit told me that today we're gonna make money i i have these situations whereby um i feel it in my blood it's 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 it's, it's kind of weird i don't know how to explain it but um, it's an extraordinary feeling i feel it okay the meeting has been upgraded yeah so i feel it most of the time but then this other day we had a storm i was feeling i don't know what i was feeling it was some type of way but uh these all other days i think most of the time when we uh, uh when we have storms i have that kind of feeling but i push it away because um our straight like personally uh in the team trading every day we actually uh we have to check and back test anything everything and um on all those storms that we have seen we could actually tell like okay today we had a storm yes but what happened and how can we overcome it then we will be able to like uh, defend ourselves or protect ourselves next time but uh, as a matter of fact most of the time when i have that I'll, I'll feel like tired or lazy before the meeting like personally so i think it's really something that um we have to um pay attention as individuals uh, uh i support the motion thank you yeah and uh thank you Kutsai. i think another thing that we we, we we might need to, to 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 consider as well is to even though not in in detail but just talk to people for them to understand that when we trade what is it that we we are looking at because i know that a lot of people whom we trade with are people who have gotten some sort of training um, for trading elsewhere but for some reason it it, it never worked out and they decided to come and join us because they see that it's working. There's multiple trading strategies that are there. And when we always say there's a market maker, there's a broker, people always, I think, I'm not sure about the people in the group, but the other people that I talk to, people always have huge questions and ask, who's this market maker? How sure are you that um, it exists? I mean, the forex markets are not natural. It's not things that we found on earth. It's things that were created by people. The finances of the countries are controlled by certain people or certain institutions. Wherever the market moves, somebody is pushing it in that direction. The movements of the markets, they are there to take money out of people more than they are there to give money to people. When we stick with a broker, the broker has a relationship with the market makers because they need to be verified that they can do um, what they are doing as brokers. You stick with the broker, you win at a rate that we are winning. In business, when I win, somebody loses. In this case, when we win trades, our broker, is the one that is losing money because their money needs to come to us. That is why you will find that sometimes when you look at the charts, you cannot really understand the movement or the direction in which the charts need to go. When we trade using the market maker method, we look at three levels. You For a downtrend, you look for an M, an A1, an A2. Then you look for a reversal at the weakest point, which forms normally a W, but you know somewhere at A1 or at A2, there can be a reset which forces a reversal or you see your trade going in consolidation for a very long time, inducing emotions of people so that you think you don't know where it's going. Now you need, to, I don't think trading becomes quite successful if you don't have even a little bit of understanding as to the biology of, of, of the markets themselves. So we need to, to get to understand that when you get a signal that says buy, there's a reason that signal is saying is being given as a buy instead of a sell. It is never a matter of guesswork. But at the same time, wherever we see a buy signal, it might be a short-term buy, but on a long-term, when you look at the 
the charts, the, the, the bigger time frames. It's a long-term sell. So when you get to understand these methods, regardless of where it goes, when it stop hands, you profit. When it goes into the in initiated direction, you also profit. But then an understanding of things to that level, it's not a matter of intellectual or mental intellect, but it's a matter of emotional intellect because you know, for you to know and be able to do what you do as good as you do it, you need to understand whatever it is that is going on behind. It's the same as being a father or a mother to a child. That child, when they were born, the only thing they could do was to cry. Even the neck was weak and they couldn't balance at all. But over time, that child gets to develop and becomes a strong person up until they become a grown up and they become a very old person going back to almost the same state as they were born in. But it's, it's a process. What kills us in most cases is the fact that we want to rush. You see the trading journal, it says you'll make a hundred and something thousand US dollars in a hundred trading days. But we look at that and we, what, we get to think that a hundred trading days is too far away. We all have needs, but don't put your needs at the end of everything because trying to push too much to get to the end results because you have your own target that you have set. Trading, uh, the young ones say it will humble you and it will humble us greatly so. So we need, I think, I truly, truly believe that what we need most is a matter of being able to control what we want and let's not be omnivores, but rather be, if you are a carnivore, stay a carnivore and know that you eat meat. If you are a herbivore, stay a herbivore and eat your plants. We don't need to be beating around the bush and wanting to go there and wanting to go there. The plan is there, the plan is clear. If you want to understand why a signal is being given as a buy, nobody said you cannot ask. I remember there was a time I used to post after we made uh, profits. I used to take screenshots and say, this is what I'm seeing. Or if it so happened that we had made a loss on a particular day, I would make, I would take a screenshot and say, this is the reason that we made a loss. There was a reversal sign there and we did not see it. I am at the level where I am able to see that, but I'm not sure that everybody else is able to see that. So we need, I think we really need to, to enlighten each other and help each other to truly, truly, truly get to understand that over and above the skill that you possess, the emotions need to be controlled. I'll pause a little bit and we deliberate and then yeah, we'll move on. Okay. Um, I think I've I've been adding. I don't know if anyone else has uh, some inputs. We see we have Africa here and Malcolm. They just joined us, but um, I'm sure they they have something to share with us. It's an interactive uh, session. Yeah, I'd, I'd like for us to, to have the session as interactive as possible. So um, anyone can unmute the, themselves and just share with us what you think or what you feel. It's not a matter of sharing what you know, but you can ask what you think you need to understand better, which you're failing to understand, and then we can assist wherever possible. Hello. Um, Hello, Dockers. I'm I'm Dockers Jobo. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I want to add on is I get a, um what Controlling the emotions doesn't mean suppressing at the same time. So sometimes like 
we are always told in the group that after maybe you lose, maybe you can just recap or chill a little bit a day or two days. Then after that, get back on your feet. Then after that, you shouldn't fight the mic. That's one other thing. When you have lost, you will just make those profits bit by bit. We are not competing. It depends on the muscle of each and every person. So what you do is to not suppress yourself, but rather get back a little bit. Then you will recap and be a better person slowly, but surely. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think what you've just um, said takes us to the next point which we needed to, to discuss, revenge trading. Um, revenge is, I think everybody understands, is wanting to get, to get back at someone or to get back at something. So it's very difficult to lose a lot of money and then have to go back Imagine moving from day 30 in the trading journal, going back to day 10. You look at what you've lost and now the target, according to the balance that you are supposed to make, takes you back to, to, to day 10. Now, oftentimes we revenge trade and we think we've seen what, where the markets are gonna go and we are 100% sure. Firstly, I believe that somebody who would go around telling people that um, their trading strategy is 100% or 95% accurate is not being truly honest. Let's say your trading journey has been 95% accurate, but let's not pin it on, on, on a certain strategy and that say that strategy is is that accurate because for the strategy to be that accurate, you need to be having more control on the markets than what the brokers allow us. Because currently we do not have um, any control at all as to where the markets go. We just identify the patterns. If you've done mathematics in school, you know that when you solve for X, there's a formula that you need to use. When you have to find the size of an angle, there's a formula that you you use. So even in trading, what we do, there's formulae that we look at and we use to sort of assess and determine where the markets are going to go. But they are not always accurate because there are forces that are behind the movements there. So revenge trading becomes a little bit of a difficult um topic because you can't have a thousand dollars in an account and then lose 900 and be left with a hundred dollars and then be wanting the following day to start making profits the same as a person who's got a hundred dollars but the reality of the of the matter is you trade with what you've got and what you've got is what you see on account balance not what you think you're going to have tomorrow or what you think or where you you believe you were inconvenienced yesterday. What you've lost, you've lost. Let that be a lesson. How did you lose is the first thing. For me, even when I teach my kids, I don't enjoy marking wrong and saying the child is wrong. But in every wrong answer, when you look at it, there's a reason why it was wrong. You look at the reason why that person got things wrong. You look at yourself. What is it that you did today which made you have a losing day instead of a profiting day? You learn from that. Tomorrow, if it so happens that you lose again, you might lose, yes, but do not lose due to the very same reasons that made you to lose today. We can avoid revenge trading. And I don't think it's something that our particular team needs to be particularly concerned about because I think we have seen how accurate and how profitable we are when the markets respect the direction in which we believe they, they are supposed to go. So yeah, 
we can interact again a little bit more. And then let's see, add a little bit to what I said. I know I'm not knowing of, of it all. I'm just in a position where I think I can I can speak and we we can assist each other. Amen to that. Um I'm with you um a hundred percent on that. Um I think I posted um a, personally I think some few hours back uh, concerning how we use our experience I think even yesterday or early in the morning, I also mentioned that today we had a threefold, a threefold um, uh, events that were rated as high volatile, according to investing.com. And um, I mentioned that uh, uh, like experience is the best tutor. And um, it seems that today, because of the, the most recent experience, we managed to decode that if the market is going to take this direction we're going to go with it if it doesn't because of those news because we haven't been respecting them so i think we are growing slowly but surely as a team as an individual personally as a trader as our analysis as a team and um i think um learning from uh, past mistakes or from past bad experience is um is really important as we um as we move ahead and we should really really um appreciate these experiences and not discard them but take them as life lessons and use them to get better so revenge trading it's 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 um we are human being and it's part of uh, it's part of the game you have no other way but to feel it but then what are you gonna do when you start feel like you need to revenge your money that you lost yesterday what's what, what are you gonna do what's your action as much as you feel it what are you gonna do i think um that's what we need to uh, really look that's what we need to really um work on as individuals because you know no one will be like uh, right there sitting with you or trading with you it's 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 you and you alone i think i still remember talking to my mother some few weeks back and lulu as well though she's not here she said um my target is hundred dollars or something like that but she had her psychological her psychological target i think um i usually i used to do that as well you have you know that your target is ten dollars or your target is hundred dollars but you have your own target in, inside your head it's not written anywhere but it's there i think uh most of us has it but what are you gonna do after personally i i suppress that and it's no longer part of me uh, the moment i get my target actually what i'm doing now is uh, i look at the whole scenario and um i have like you know the minimum i can get here then i'm out depending with the market conditions so i think it's good we um we use our experience what we have seen and make sure that we don't repeat uh, the same mistakes as individuals i know we're supposed to share our screenshots there and there but others have a tendency of not uh sharing uh sometimes it's because uh, they would have um gone against against the plan or others are, are simply busy but those who usually follow the plan have the uh, the tendency of sharing because they'll be seeing uh, that whatever they applied according to what we have shared from our everything that we share is, is basically from the the experience from everything that we have seen so uh, personally it hurts me to uh to revenge trade maybe earlier like last year in december or november then when someone joins the family and i tell them like don't do this and this and that person does it like four or five months after it's it it personally hurts me a lot so i think um we all together slowly learning and um improving ourselves as this is a marathon it's not like nfe it's a marathon it's it's, it's a long journey but along the way uh, aluta continue there we're not gonna like stop now and i hope that everyone here and everyone in the platform is definitely gonna reach um that point in time when we say um this is uh the milestone of the marathon and see the fruits of it thank you
Amen. Amen. Thank you, brother. Um, anybody has anything else to say? I know these are the only two topics which we had, had been mentioned on the group, but um, if somebody has something else to, to talk about, we can deliberate. Okay. Um, can anybody, can everyone hear me? Yes, sir, we do. Yes, sir. Yeah. Evening, everyone. Um, I think, uh, I think I have a question, and and my question is about the target. Um, because I think I'm confused on that one. Um, uh, no. Your line is not clear. You just went to mute. Mm, his line is not clear. So, um. I, I think I spoke with him is it yesterday or day before yesterday. He's one of the few people that traded on the stormy day and he didn't lose his account. The reason why was that, um, let me just get my document here. Say he has $100. So from his $100, he divides the $100 by two and he gets 50 after getting 50, he divides that 50 by 2 again, leaving him with $25. Then he started trading there. So his risk management was way, way, way deep. And surprisingly, I didn't know that this actually works. Ever since he started trading, I think he started, he, he funded uh, 5 or 6 days ago. And he's been hitting his target using that. So the risk management is extraordinary. And he's been hitting the target. And that's why his account survived. So as he was sharing with me, like he didn't lose his uh, his account. He's like, my account is still... He actually told me like, should we continue holding? I'm like, you still have an account? He said, yes, I have an account and it's still running. I'm like, what happened? Then he started telling me how he did it. So I think that's the question he was gonna um, he's gonna bring here. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, and on top of that, he hasn't been maximizing or he hasn't been exhausting his entries. He's actually been um, using the entries as according to the uh, journal. The 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 load size he's been using according to the journal. So the 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 risk management is extraordinary extra extra extraordinary maybe we should also bring it around like what do you think guys of using a risk management like that it's 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 crazy but it would take forever though but um an event like yesterday uh, we both could have survived however um what we have come through uh, like already now it's um it's been learning curves and um I think we still remember my team saying that we're going to make sure that these events that we uh, encountered storms, we're going to use them to twist and turn things around and we're going to start making more, probably 100% or 200% when these events come through again. Like this coming Wednesday, like no, Wednesday from now, we think we might turn around. Oh, it's not. The event is coming on Thursday, not Wednesday. So we're not sure. But next time when it comes on Wednesday, we'll check the fundamental the, the technical aspect and see what we can do to 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 take advantage of the situation but um personally um i'm, I'm grateful for these uh storms because uh even like the the event that happened today i think we even have a new approach that um in the long run taking all this into consideration and applying them properly uh, we will def we, we will definitely be um, successful as much as it's a marathon it's gonna be a, a fun one and, and and really really interesting so yeah um, that's uh, that's what I thought Africa wanted to say but he's here now he can further take us through thank you uh 
All right, Africa, you may continue, I think, where you left off. Hopefully, your network will be responsive. And he's gone. Technology is not for us in Africa. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm not sure, but if we don't have anything, anything else to to add, um, I think we may start thinking of concluding the meeting. Oh, I I forgot to say something. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Yes, yes we hear you. Um, one other thing I've one other thing I've learned. Well, we uh, we are always told that you need to learn and never repeat the same mistake. So mm. I've I've lost ever since I started in the marathon. Yes, I've withdrawn, but I think I've blew my account twice. Um, I think it's the the matter of saying maybe it will go to twenty five percent. So I was saying, Kutai must look into the first first idea of cutting to 50 percent rather than 25 like the past this the day before yesterday it was so volatile that we thought it will go to 25 but it didn't go there but at the same time us as individuals we must also protect our capitals like when when it gets to maybe let's say you have funded with 400 euros and then it goes to 400 yet it was on 800 at least save that 400 and lose the other profits yeah thank you okay uh can i take through that so yes. um on on this past whoa, this past home i actually sat down and um did some analysis and realized that there was a breakout and the market came back but what i'm not sure about is did the market came back to the 25 percent after it had crossed the 50 percent threshold that i'm not sure but the market came back that i could have cut my losses like personally but um i was underestimating the event so these um the 25 percent it's it's too effective because yes we can cut at 50 percent i think it, it it also boils down to um individuals protecting their accounts and 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 that's a that's a good initiative initiative however the market really uh came back to 25 percent this first time it came back to 25 percent i saw how volatile it was it 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 it, it crumbled then it came back but then Personally, I believe that the when it came back, it was gonna uh, recorrect everything, and we were gonna get into profit. So, um, the fifth, the the fifth percent, and cutting losses at twenty five percent, it's it's basically something that um have been more effective, and I still believe that um we can take advantage of it. However, from what we have been seeing lately, we can actually combine everything like the whole experience and start taking precautions on uh days where we have fundamental events because if you have, as we have seen we have more wins than losses but then these losses when they come through they are fatal and um we we learning on how to to overcome them so in the meantime uh right now the best approach we have is to take precaution when there's news and minimizes our risk when these news are, are, are coming through otherwise we 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 are on the on the right track yes the 50 percent is good for for individuals for all of us to say like you know what um let's cut losses but then we should do this when there's news events when there's news events otherwise technically technically as you were saying about the market maker the the studying the patterns and everything it's 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 there's no holy grail but it's close to perfection and is we, we 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 all have been seeing the results so i believe that uh, we stick to the game plan we cut losses there when uh, uh it has passed the 50 percent threshold however 
we should do this when we have like events like the ones we had otherwise we don't really need to panic i think we'll also communicate along the way like you know what today there's events and everything so that everyone will be on guard thank you all right thank you and well understood do we have anything else to add I I personally have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, actually, I'm new into this business, so I'm still trying to find my feet, and I'm also learning the jargon used in here. So, can someone please explain cutting losses? How do we cut losses? I, and I'm listening, people are talking about cutting losses at 25%, some are suggesting 50%. What does that mean? Okay, cutting losses simply means that when a trade goes the direction that you want it to go, you make profit. So cutting losses is where it means you accept that this is the amount that I'm willing to part ways with you don't allow it to get to be even more negative than that, thinking that somehow it's gonna turn around and go to where you wanted it to be. So if you see that the trade is, is losing, we use mechanisms where we look at either 25% of your current account. If it gets to that, you cut a loss, or if it gets to 50%, then you close those trades. The balance will be lower, but at least you know that the account is not low because holding on to the account for longer, thinking that it's gonna turn. Sometimes, yes, it does turn, but it doesn't turn as quickly as you want. And you find it blows your account before it turns to even pass where you you had intended to have your your profits so the cutting losses is just a matter of knowing that at this percentage of of a negative then i'm willing to part ways with this money before i put myself in more danger so it's also a part of um, risk management okay thank you all right no problem do you, do we have anything else to add? Um, we Nyama is not here. She she said that um she's still working on it. But I think very soon we're going to have um sessions for for those who are new, like as 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 far as forex trading is concerned. She will be doing sessions like this, but they'll be actually on how to how to trade. All the basics and everything she'll be taking through everyone in the marathon um free of charge so anytime soon something like that is definitely gonna go down and you will be uh, in the right hands and you're gonna know everything so we'll communicate further like when is when when are those sessions come when are those sessions commencing so that you prepare yourself she's gonna take you through on from from zero until you are well aligned with all the jargons and everything at the same time you'll be making those gradual consistent small percentage every day is gonna be like the best all right thank you thank you thank you Zai, for for that and i think people will will greatly appreciate that now if there's nothing else to 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 add um i think we can just briefly discuss how we we're gonna move on with with the next um meeting like like this one which we want to have because i i must say on on my side um i'm greatly disappointed that I mean, I gave out notification more than seven days ago that we're going to have this meeting and people have been saying they need this meeting. So I think it's pointless to kind of continuously make time and you always see one in the same faces. And just like in a classroom situation, the people who always ask for help are normally the people who don't need the help, but the people who need the help are just sitting in the back seats. And now, mind you, this is free. It's not a paid service. Yeah. I, I, I totally understand. Well, personally, I think 
it's 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 because of the storm because last time i think the turnout was a little bit better than this so yes. it's because of the storm so um i have seen that but personally myself i'm a diehard um whatever i believe in i stick to it and i know that this was just um uh, a storm a storm but then uh spring is just around the corner so keep on pushing but then there are those who be like uh, since I've lost the, I think I heard that when we had the storm, then uh, in the next few hours there was um, New Zealand interest rate decision. I'm so good with those. Uh, I could have made, I could have recovered everything, but then I was just not in a state to actually do it. So I think we can actually attribute to the storm. Um, I think we can have, um, we can say this week, the next one. Let's have a session on the third week from now. Let's see how the turnout is going to be and uh, if it's poor again we'll see how we can turn around things so instead of like uh, fortnight we, we can make it um like once three weeks from now weeks. yeah maybe yes every once every three weeks and see how things gonna be so far we just learned something like a big lesson most recently so we're gonna apply it and see how things gonna turn around then we'll take it from there that's what i think it, it, it's open for discussion thank you okay that 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 is fine with me uh it, it works perfectly fine my only concern um my the attendance is not something that i'm really worried about especially because we're recording because zoom consumes a lot of data and data in our continent is quite expensive especially this part of africa the southern part now we're recording people will get access to that they'll ask questions wherever they need but i'd i'd like to to find myself in a position where i pre when i prepare for this i do not prepare what i think people need to need to know because i've been doing this for a long time so i've fallen and i've risen and i i i sort of understand almost everything that i need to to understand but we are at different levels of, of, of trading and understanding. So I'd, I'd urge that people really, really do say what they need to know because there's no point in, in keeping quiet when you know you need help on something then so that we can also extend our helping hand as, as, as for it to reach as furthest as possible. But we cannot, we cannot know what people feel they need assistance with if they're not saying anything loud and clear loud and clear um may i say something before i leave yes ma'am oh yeah thank you very much for for your time and good presentation Tamba. Uh, i really appreciate personally because honestly, this meeting had been very fruitful to me as a person. Because like I said, I'm new in the business. I never traded before. And looking at what happened on Tuesday with the storm, uh, I, that's when I started to realize that, okay, I always believe I'm a risk averse person, but I realized, you know, I'm a risk seeker. So with the motivation that you gave us today on how to manage the risk, I think, Pambili, we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, your, your words mean a lot, and we greatly appreciate you. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a fruitful journey for, for everybody. Not every day is going to seem like that, but it's the perseverance through it all. Um, I had a talk today with, with, with a colleague of mine who's a trumpeter and she was telling me about index funds and I told her that um, I'm not really sure about what that is. And then when she explained, she told me it's putting your money in, in different places. And I told her, I know how to do that. I, I learned how to do that with, with cryptocurrency which is something that personally I'm comfortable with. She's scared of crypto. So, you know, when, when, whenever we, we get to interact, these sessions, we don't really need to always have a topic for us to, to hold this session. We can just meet and talk because sometimes 
planning is what ruins the lesson. Sometimes you just need to, to have an honest, pure conversation without planning, nothing mechanical, just normal human beings talking about their experiences. We are from different walks of life with different experiences in the game that we are in. And definitely a person who's been doing this for the past 10 years can still learn something from a person who's been doing this only for a few months. So yeah, thank you. Um, I, I truly appreciate. So from my side, uh, I think three weeks from now, if we keep uh, a Thursday, so let me pick up my calendar. May I ask? Yes. Are uh, these meetings normally held on Thursdays? I prefer, initially we had said on a Tuesday, but because um, I'm studying as well, I'd rather have it on a Thursday because Monday evenings and Wednesday evenings, I've got lessons. So I can't do a Tuesday because Tuesday I need to prepare for, for the Wednesday. Wednesday. So, yeah. Mm, okay. What what um, um, No, I'm I, I think I'm going to have a challenge going forward. I normally have a church meeting on Thursdays from six to half past seven. So I would really love to be part of the meetings. You That's why I was asking. If I don't think we need to, to have a set day where we say we have the meeting on a Thursday. Let's just mm -hmm. look a week before. We just know right now that we're gonna have the meeting on on the third uh, on week number three from today. So then let's mm -hmm. look at how things are going um, at that point oh. in time. And then, cause it's not only based on my availability. I would have preferred that we have the meeting on, on Saturdays, but Saturdays are family time. So when I, I yeah. suggested for the first time, people said, no, we, we cannot use weekends. And I understand very well because I'm a husband and a father myself. So the weekend yeah. is definitely not worth being touched. So I think let's just okay. have the idea open and see that whatever day we, we, we agree on for a particular week, we then get to use that. But not have anything set in stone for now. But still, if people still insist the Thursday, I it's won't have fine. any problem, but I would I would ask you to shift the time just a bit, maybe to half past seven, because my church meeting is on Zoom too. So it will just be the matter of switching from one meeting to the next. Okay, that's that's not a problem. And worst case scenario where you will, if if you're not able to to join, like this session is being recorded, and then we also share the the links to those recordings, so you can always listen. And if there's a point that you would have liked to discuss and you're unable for for a particular reason to join the meeting, um, you can raise it on the group, or you can text me or Puzai or any of the admins privately. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Can we officially dismiss this meeting? I haven't had dinner. Thank you, sir. Okay. Good night, yep. everyone. All right. Good night. Good night Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>